Hi, this is Dr. Grover from Grover Group Incorporated. I'm the Chief Research Scientist and what I would like to share with you today is how to create a supply and demand curve using Microsoft Excel. And what we're going to do is replicate this supply and demand curve that I already have established here. So we'll take this data and we'll create this chart. So again, here's the data that uh, I've posted, and here are the steps that I'll take to create this supply and demand curve. On the right-hand side are snippets of the su supply functionality, and then on the bottom, the demand functionality in this chart here. So I've taken this information so I can replicate it. So I'll just give you an example, edit here, and that's those parameters. And then edit uh, demand, that's those parameters. So I just put that over there just as a visual. So we'll start with uh, opening a new Excel spreadsheet, which we have just done. Highlight from A1 through G4, then insert charts, straight lines. So then I'll just pull this over here and then I'll right click, select data. And then the first thing I'll do is I'll remove this price. Then I'll highlight supply. I'll edit supply. Then I'll tab through, delete the X values, delete the Y values. And then step seven, while the cursor is still in this box, series Y, I'll highlight the price from B2 through G2. And then I'll go up to the X values, and then I'll highlight B3 through G3. Press OK. Then I'll highlight the demand do the same thing, delete the X values, delete the Y values, and while it's in the Y box, I'll go and highlight B2 through G2 for the X values, and this time, uh, I'm sorry, for the Y values, and this time for the X values, I'll highlight B4 through G4. Press enter, okay. And so now we have uh, the beginnings of our supply and demand curve. So the next thing I'll do is double click, activate the add chart elements, chart title above, and I'll just type in smartphone market. Then I'll go back up. The axis label, the primary, which will be the supply. And then again, the vertical, which will be the price. And then I'll left click on the curves, then I'll right click, add data labels. And again on the demand curve, left click, right click, add data, uh, data la labels. And then we have created our supply and demand curve. So this is a very short tutorial. I hope you find it very useful. 
have any questions, follow, make comments, and see you next time. Thank you, The Data Sniffer.